Welcome to another editing session with Starving Photographer. Today I'm going to show you how to take an image on the left and convert it in a few minutes to an image on the right. So let's get started. I'm showing you a scene from Glacier National Park taken on a very gloomy day. I had a 10 stop ND filter in front of my lens. That's what's giving this water a smooth effect along with the sky. And first I just want to go over my approach to an image like this. As I look at this, I notice that there's a very strong blue color cast to this image. It's mainly due to the color cast from the ND filter I had in front of the lens. So I'll have to correct the color cast first. I may later choose to make the image a little warmer or cooler, but at least I can start out with a well balanced image as far as color balance is concerned. And then I plan to bring a little bit of detail and contrast and color back into the water area over here, particularly these colorful stones. And then I'm going to tackle the sky and bring a little detail in the clouds and maybe even add a little bit of artificial light, uh, simulating a little diffused sun glow with some patches of light over here and light over here. So that's sort of the mental process I'm going through before we actually go and dive into the editing process. Okay, so let's start. I'm in the develop module, as you can see. I'm going to first correct that white balance that we talked about. And under the basics tool, I just click this little eyedropper. And then I find a place that should be white. So the snow is a perfect place. So I'm gonna click there. And magically, the white balance has corrected. Uh, it has that nice even appearance. It was a gray day, so that's how it should appear. Like I said, I may later go on and warm it up a little bit to give it a little more, uh, a different feel, but at least right now I am starting with a white balanced image. So let me work on the bottom half of the image first, or the bottom two thirds, mainly the water and the rocks over here. And I'm gonna do that by using a gradient filter, uh, which is right over here. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna zero everything out. Everything is zeroed out, but if it isn't, just double click the effects and that zeroes everything out. I'm gonna go ahead and make a gradient holding the shift key down because I wanna make a straight horizon and bleed into the, into the dark areas a little bit, but mainly it's gonna affect just this area. So I'm gonna warm it up just a tad from what it is. I'm going to increase the clarity to bring out a little bit of detail. Clarity and dehaze will both do that. So let me just put a little dehaze on there. Dehazing makes it a little dark also as a little contrast. I'm gonna increase the saturation to bring out some of the colors in there and then maybe add a little contrast. That's pretty good. Bring up my shadow detail just a bit. That's pretty good. And then decrease my highlight detail to get rid of some of the shiny stuff on the rocks. So that's looking actually pretty good. Um, otherwise, I think I am pretty happy with the foreground. Now I'm gonna work on the sky. I wanna bring a little bit of detail back in there and I'm going to do that by putting another gradient on the sky. So I'm gonna click that and click it again. And I'm gonna, everything zeroed out, that's fine. I'm gonna put a gradient in the sky like such, bleed into the water a little bit. And here I'm going to maybe decrease the exposure, make it a little darker, a little moodier, uh, increase the contrast, increase the clarity, bring a little more texture back into that into that sky if I can, but not too much. If you do too much, you end up getting some haloing around here and I don't want that. So let's bring that back a little and let's change the orientation of our, of our filter so there's less effect on that part of the sky. It's okay because we can correct that later on. I'm gonna do something, something like this maybe, something that's pretty good. Now affecting preferentially this portion of the sky, maybe a little bit over here, but we can correct that later on. So this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna increase the temperature just a little bit, bring a little warmth into that sky, dehaze it a little bit. Okay, and I'm liking the way that looks. Now I'm going to add a little bit of glow in the sky over here, simulate a sun that's diffusing in through the clouds. And I'm gonna do that by using the radial filter tool, which is right here. Everything zeroed out, but I know sort of what I wanna do. I wanna increase the temperature just a little bit if I can, increase the exposure to make it look like the sun, and maybe a little add a little contrast, and add a little color. The color I'm gonna add is a little bit of yellow, 
and that should be okay we can always adjust these after the fact so I'm gonna hold the shift key down and make a Sun a big Sun right here I'm gonna bleed into the, the mountain a little bit make it look like a little side light coming through and it's looking good but I'm gonna increase the exposure just a little bit more make it really bright and then maybe increase that temperature just a tad and make it even bigger so it makes a nice diffused effect and I'm gonna move it over here just a little bit so that looks like a little bit of sun shining through and I'm gonna have this light sort of reflecting on the water over here by making another ellipse and this time I'm going to come down here go like this and move it down just around so I'm not going to make it so yellow because um, the reflected light often isn't that yellow so I'm going to go like that maybe increase the exposure just a little bit I'm going to elongate it and make it a little brighter like so and then come in through here just trying to make it look relatively realistic maybe centered over here that looks pretty good and now I'm gonna add patches of light over here and over here same with the ellipse tool okay I'm gonna turn a little bit increase the exposure just a tad make it look like a little bit of shine through coming in increase the contrast increase the clarity maybe the exposure just a bit more that's pretty good and same thing on this side I'm going to bleed into the mountain just a little bit like it's almost shining in through the side And I'm going to make it not so warm over there. I'm going to make it a little less on the temperature. Still a little brighter, I think. Like it's hitting the top of those trees. Elongate that just a bit. Like so. And that's looking pretty good. It's going to introduce a little bit of noise in the black areas, but that's okay. That's why we have the denoise tool. I'm going to do that by clicking on the noise like so and that's looking pretty good and I'm going to create a little bit more color and light up here just like the light is shining through again we don't need it so yellow that's uh, well let's do it to the temperature it's too blue yeah, it'll hint a yellow. That's pretty good. Well, maybe something like that. Maybe I'm going to change that color. It's a little bit too in your face. Maybe a little less yellow. Something like that. That's pretty good. Make another one over here. Increase the exposure just a little bit like a shiny. In fact, that's what I'm going to do over here. I didn't increase the exposure enough. Get this a little brighter. That's pretty good. It's, I'm liking the way this looks. I'm going to accept everything. I'm going to increase the temperature just a bit everywhere. See how this grabs me. And that's looking pretty good. I'm going to do an overall increase in the clarity. Contrast. It's looking good. And maybe a little bit on the vibrancy. Yeah, and maybe an overall increase in the exposure value. Making it look a little bright, which is okay, and then decrease the highlights. I think I ought to make that sun pop a little bit more. It's sort of fading into the sky right now, which is okay, but I want it to be a little bit more conspicuous. I'm going to go back to that tool, and this is it right there. And I'm going to just increase the exposure a bit more, add a little bit more warmth, a little bit more color there maybe something like that that's not making a huge difference I think I'm maybe going to increase the contrast that'll 
that'll make it look brighter as will the clarity and the dehaze tool and that is actually looking pretty good we don't want sharp margins uh, if we want sharper margins I just decrease the feathering like this and take a few seconds like so and that's a little too much I think I'm gonna go back to about 70 and let's see how that is and that is looking better in fact I like the little bit of light that's hitting the mountaintop over here so I'm gonna accept that and again I've got the nice little brightness coming through so you know in a matter of few minutes we've taken an image that looks like this to one that looks like this uh, a big difference and I think it works for this image I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial thanks for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe to my channel thank you